Jorge Castillo, Chairman and President of the Maryland Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. So we've had a um, very successful uh, year uh, with our fantastic board uh, and volunteers. You know, we were able to um, grow our membership by uh, close to 75%. Um, we were also able to um, expand our, our reach uh, and our corporate partners as well uh, and institute some new, new programs for, for the last year. So um, we're in track uh, on opening our uh, regional chapters in the greater Baltimore region and then um, in PG County by, by uh, the third quarter of this year. Um, one thing that gets us very excited uh, recently is our BAM program, which is a business advocacy and mentorship program. Uh, and that'll accomplish a few things. Uh, number one, uh, it'll allow our um, uh, senior members to have direct pipeline and access to our smaller uh, members so that if they're contracting opportunities, that there could be a, a uh, very uh, quick and um, uh, you know, replicable way of making those connections. You know, as you know, some of the some of our businesses perhaps couldn't handle a two or three million dollar contract, but they could certainly handle a fifty thousand, a hundred, two hundred thousand dollar contract. So, making that connection from uh, the people who can do the work to the people who are looking for the work and keep it with that within the chamber is very important. We're, we're very excited about that. Uh, the other part is the the mentorship part. You know, um, everybody needs a, a mentor. Uh, and everybody needs a guide to show them around, uh, you know, the best ways to maximize your membership in, in our uh, chamber. So um, this is also an opportunity for people who are in the chamber uh, to actually do a little bit more than just be members, to actually have volunteer, to actually be able to teach uh, younger members uh, the ropes and how to get um, the the best bang for their buck uh, being a part of our chamber. Uh, and that's part of what we're all about. It's, it's, a, it's about the community and it's about everybody being part of the same team. At the end of the day, it benefits us all uh, in the same way. Uh, chances are, if you work for a company, that this company is not a Fortune 500 company, right? Most, most people end up working for small to medium-sized firms in the, in the United States. Uh, and those firms, unfortunately, have not been um, uh, quite successful yet uh, in penetrating the Hispanic market. You know, large Fortune 500, Fortune 100 corporations have it down to the T. Uh, but you're seeing a lot of these medium-sized uh, entities that are growing uh, that look at the Hispanic market and don't really know uh, what to do or how to engage it. Uh, and paying for a membership to just have your logo there is not going to do it. You really have to think of the community as a whole. You really have to be willing to invest in it. Just like we invest in our local schools through taxes and how we invest in uh, charity organizations that we believe in, um, companies have to invest in the Hispanic community because it is other, a couple of things. Hispanics accounted for over 50%. I think the number is about 54% of the population growth in the United States from 2000 to 2010. Uh, one out of four kindergartners is Hispanic. Uh, so you're going to see in the future that uh, an organization is going to be made up of a sizable amount of, of Hispanics. Um, and in terms of diversity, uh, it is smart for companies to start, start thinking about their Hispanic strategy now that they haven't done so already. Um, and similarly, you want to invest in this community because Hispanics are opening businesses at 15 times the rate uh, of the national average. Um, that is very good, but it also creates uh, some, some problems as well. Um, and this community is going to need to be uh, taught, is going to need to be mentored, is going to need to be elevated, uh, just like all business owners do. The difference is that you have a big amount, huge amount of Hispanic businesses being open, uh, and the opportunities are there. Um, so in terms of, of a strategy, uh, you can't just say engage with the Hispanic community. I think the right word is to engage and invest. Uh, once our members and our companies uh, sees your medium-sized or large-sized large size business uh, as an entity who's really investing in the future of our community, that's when you start uh, seeing those connections. Uh, and as you know, Hispanics are very, very loyal uh, once we settle with a brand um, is, is very hard for us for us to move. 
so uh, you know, as you're thinking of where you're going to be putting your investment in innovation and in technology and, and uh, growing your workforce, all of these things touch the Hispanic community very, very closely, you know, uh, and um, it is proven that a diverse workforce is better at adapting, uh, at solving problems, uh, and at uh, being able to attract more diversity and more clients of diverse origins as well.